All right. There's supposed to be a piece of equipment in there somewhere. Do y'all even see it? I don't know how good this camera does, but it's yellow. It's supposed to be a Massey Ferguson backhoe. We walked around and walked around till we finally seen it in here. Had to get directions. But the man said he, the man did tell us that it was mixing water and oil. They drove it right here and parked it. And you can tell it's been parked in there several years. That's a that's an oak tree right here. It's not just a bush, that's an oak. An oak grows slow, not as slow as it does up in the north part, but oaks do grow slow here. Uh, I don't know how long it's been sitting there, but it's been sitting there for a while for that tree to get there. But what we're interested in doing is we're coming out here to see if it's any potential other than scrap. That's what we're doing today. Uh, we thought about buying it if it wasn't locked up, if it was something maybe we could work on to get running, use it in some of this projects that we do. But uh, we didn't bring the chainsaws or anything like that, so there won't be any cut until we know for sure if it's got a starter on it because the freight, the freight liner, you know, we've done all that cutting and got to it, no starter. But let's see if we can make our way in there see what's all the matter with it, what it needs, if it's missing anything, if anything's rotted off of it. Rusted off of it, not rotted off of it, rusted off of it, but that looks like a, I don't know. Looks like a path coming through here. Now I'll tell you, we in rattlesnake country right here. I don't know if anybody is familiar with the Rattlesnake Rodeo in off Alabama. But that's where we are, just south of off. I hope none of them escaped and sitting down here mad. Look at there, there's an old Chevy truck in there. Wow, that's been there a while too. All right, there it is, the Master Ferguson 50A. Starters on it. That's a good sign. No snakes yet. That's a good sign. Buckets there. I tell you, the cylinders don't look all pitted and scarred up, really. Now, that's got a turnout up there on the exhaust. Maybe no water's in it, but let's see if we can find the oil level first. I ain't got any uh, hood. Let's see if we can find the oil stick and find out about what engine this is. I'm gonna guess a Ford or a Perkins being in this uh, Ferguson. Maybe on the other side. All right, there's the, uh-oh, it's got a key in it also. Standard shift transmission. There's a transmission fluid. I guess we could check it. Good gracious alive, that's stuck in there. It's got a roll bar on it. I thought it was a tree the way the moss was on it when I first saw it. Uh, it's been sitting a while. Look at these hoses. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see if we can find the oil on this thing. All right. That's not locked up. That's that's a plus. Well, this one is. Uh, that's going to be, I don't know if that's diverting the fluid or not to the back part of it. And I don't know if Maybe the boom, I don't know just exactly. It's going to the back, so I guess we'll figure that out a little bit later. Uh, like I said, the, the hood is missing off of it. I'm interested in seeing what the oil looks like.
That really and truly surprises me that that's not pitted up. Uh, those cylinders staying out here in the open like that, if they ever was pitted, they'd be rusty. Y'all know how that goes. Y'all seen them before. All right, I found the oil stick. Moment of truth. See that? Look at that. That's, that cylinder's not in bad shape at all. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. See all the water. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a shame. But let's continue to look. I, uh, I probably ain't mad enough to, oh boy, no, nah, it ain't budging, that's not budging, but that's okay, I mean, it was not locked up when it, when it got here, and I'm just, I'm sure it's just, said over the years and the condensation moisture build up in it that's a good you know tire it's low all these years i'm gonna guess seven eight years i'm gonna guess that that oak tree over there is seven eight years old at least seven or eight but none of this is broke here i think we'll get on there and google and see what a Let's see what the boom looks like if we can. Oh yeah, that thing makes this. Honestly, that just don't look bad. None of the, none of that's broke out. Let me wiggle those. Get those levers moved, Jacob. See if they cut. That's good. That's a good sign. That one yeah. sucks. <laughs> that one's. I don't know how far they all yeah. go. Well, they just, as long as they're not, they don't know just exactly what they do either, but as long as they move a little bit, they've got a, got a chance. Yeah, not sure. But I'm sure they got a. It's probably gonna be, you know, up and down, boom, curl. So that would be those three, I think. Uh, you know, just to continue to show y'all what kind of shape it's in, just in case there happen to be uh, someone that's could use it. For other than melting it down, there's the bucket. Looks like it's been sitting there a while. The old trees grown up and growed into the trees. Probably was digging septic tanks with it. That's what is that a a y'all a thirty six inch wide bucket probably. But nothing's broke up. The links are on it. Uh, it don't look too wore out in places, really. With 2,000 hours on it, it really shouldn't be. All these look good, like where you haven't seen where they chiseled it off, getting these off to repack them. May have some promise in it with some parts. Looks like that's wore a little bit, a lot, a lot there. But it's not broke up. I don't know. If you can get to that tag from here. Where? That tag right there. The, 
Let me do this. And just see if it gives you any kind of a date. <laughs> yeah. Squirrels has brought them over here and had them a little snack. There's very little information I can make out. Okay. <clears throat> we Maybe might. Nice Maggie Fer <laughs> Massey Ferguson, made in Canada. Made in Canada. The, um, I don't know if this is Roper. Ropes, uh, Rolo Protection. That's what Rops is. Rops model. Yeah. That's what, the, that's what you got your hands on now. That's what they call that. The... Oh, then this, I think this is just for this then. Okay. That's what I, I, I thought it might have been. Because the other information is just like approval number. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can find something. <clears throat> if y'all, uh, when y'all looking at it, it is for sale. And we're going to try to, like I told you earlier, we're going to try to save it from the scrap yard. So if you have one like this and you was hunting some parts or something, this might be perfect for somebody that owns one. Let's see if you can get up here, Jacob, and, and tell the hours on it. We still should have bought our flipper. <laughs> but we're making a little progress. Two thousand one hundred and seventy four hours. Well, look at there. This thing was just getting broke in when it started mixing water. What is this? Uh, I can barely read the text, but it says it's a valve of some kind. <laughs> it's not very. Yeah, interesting. Attached to anything. It's the uh, gear levers, are they kind of free down there? The one's going to be the probably forward, reverse, and neutral. That's probably forward, reverse, and neutral. And that's yeah. probably the one, two, and three there. Yeah. Okay. There's the accelerator. Is that the pattern of it right there? What's it look like? I can't. I ain't got my glasses, so I can't see. Can y'all tell kind of what engine this may be? For some reason, I think I've seen some Fords in them. Uh, far as the other ones, it's like Perkins, and this is a four-cylinder. That was the serial number. Don't know if y'all could tell by looking in it or or not. Can you uh, can you come across the top there and take the radiator cap off and see if there's any oil in the water? Let's see if you. <laughs> it's got a little uh... yeah wedge in it, don't they? Sound feels empty. But I don't see any motor oil. It looks it looks dry. Okay. You don't see anything that looks like old gunk motor oil, just dry, rusted looking like water's the only thing that's been in there. It's probably we just mixing the water into the oil rather than mixing both ways. I was knocking some of this stuff in here, yeah. but yeah, it don't it's matter. pretty clean. Yeah, and I guess the water was coming. This is old Cherry Bomb. You remember those Cherry Bomb mufflers that you put on your truck back in the 70s? I think that's what you call them, Cherry Bombs. I, I had one anyway, but that's just an old muffler that they kind of rigged up on it. Yeah, see what that's, if it's anything in there. It's uh, I see reflection. Okay. <laughs> Pretty low. Where'd that go? 
it smells like diesel fuel. What does it taste like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying that yet. <coughs> That's free. That's free. Hey, y'all, uh, let us know in the comments if you're interested in this thing. Give us some pointers and let us know kind of what you know if you've experienced the water mixing oil. I'm sure it's the head gasket. It's probably where it's, it's how it's mixed and our heads cracked or something. Uh, if you, we might could run this serial number and just find out exactly what engine that is or y'all might all know already if you got one. Give us some help on this thing because we are, we are thinking about trying to buy it but it just looks like it may be too far gone to try to restore because some things like an old Ferguson not worth restoring if it was an old John Deere backhoe you know they've got a lot of good resale but hey y'all might know something more about the Ferguson than I do it's got some cylinders on there that's not pitted up it's got a pretty good boom on it that's not bad so like I said if y'all think y'all might need something for parts or you know somebody needs a part for a 50A Massey Ferguson get up with us thank y'all for watching and remember don't be wily.